Hello and welcome to another video on Power BI beginner tutorial series and in today's video we are going to discuss one power query function list.alternate. So now what does list.alternate do? So list.alternate can replace the values or can skip the values it's not going to replace the values it's going to skip the values and to skip the values you need to give how should it skip. So first thing which you need to provide to this function is list. Second one is the count as a number. Third one is repeat interval. Means I want to skip one value after how many much interval. So I'll say I skip one value after every interval of one or every interval of two. And then the offset. Offset means from where should I start? Should I start from the zero offset? Should I start from one offset? Should work? Means I can leave certain elements which doesn't come. Now if you look at example list dot alternate, this is a way we can generate a long list here. One comma one double dot tan, and then I say one means uh, you can start skipping one number then we give uh, one dot dot ten and we say one comma one means you need to uh, skip uh, this it's only skipping one number right now now we are saying skip and repeat it so repeat it after every one number so first what it does it only skip the first number then what it doing here is skipping the first number and then after every one number it's going to skip one 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 then we can give a offset so we say okay you start it from offset one. So before offset one, everything like one was before offset one. Offset one is two, uh, lying at the zero and one. So offset one is two basically uh, in the list one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we, it started, it kept the one as is, and then it start, started rolling it out. Now, if you say two, now you say, oh, I want to skip after two. So what happens? One. Now it, it, it does not touch the first part because the offset is one. So after three and four, so it skipped the one number. Then after three and four, after two elements, again skip one number. Six and seven, again skip one number and nine and ten. So in that way, it's going to skip. Now what we are going to do is let's go ahead and try that out ourselves. Okay. So we will go to Power BI. So we go to Power BI and under the Home tab, we have Transform Data. Transform Data. So click on that, and we will reach Power Query. So once we reach Power Query we need to create a new blank query. So under the home, new blank query. And right click on this blank query and we can rename it or we can double click and rename it. So I'm going to rename it as alternate. And first of all, let me create a list. So let's create a list one comma one dot dot 20. Okay, and we written that. So we got a list of 20 elements. Now we would like to do that alternate operations. So we go to advanced editor, comma, enter, and we say underscore alt is equal to list dot alternate. We provide the list which is nothing but source comma let's as of now provide one and why no changes because we have not returning alt we are still returning source so let's return alt so now we don't see the first one let's say if I make it two what happens first two three three elements gone okay let's make it one so one element gone now we learned about a parameter that we, we, we are only able to remove the first few things. We are skip, able to skip first few. But if we want to do this, repeat this exercise after every one element. So now two, we started with one uh, and then so first element we have left skip. Then we have skip, uh, we started with two, then four, six, this one. Now we have an offset, how many, means what is the position you want to start? So I say zero. Zero is the first offset. So it remains same. When I say first, first offset, it means it should leave the first one, first element, and then start with the second element, which is the offset one. So then I get this one, three, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now we say, what happens if I want to say two here? So what would happen? You get one element after that two elements. 
continuous then again skip one element and then what happens if I say two here okay so offset is one so it's going to start with one after so two and three is going to left then it's going to give me four and five then it's going to leave six and seven then it's going to give me eight and nine then it's going to leave ten and eleven then it's going to give me so in this manner this function works okay so go ahead and try this function out do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series provide your feedback in comment thanks for watching this video thank you